How are you, my friends? In this video, I'm presenting eight old exams questions related to trigonometric identities, lecture number 20 in the pre-calculus course. Question number one, simplify the expression. Tan beta plus cosine of minus beta times cosecant of beta divided by tan of minus beta. And let's see the simple answer. Anytime you have a negative angle, in any of the trigonometric functions, you can use even and odd. So we know that cosine of minus beta is the same as cosine of beta because cosine of theta is even. And tan of minus beta is equal minus tan beta because tan of theta is odd. You can say tan x also, or here cosine of x or cosine of beta. That's the general definition now. So let's see the given becomes tan beta plus cosine of beta times cosecant of beta 1 over sine beta. We know that rule there and there is a minus here minus tan of beta. Now I can split here a plus b. See this is a plus b over c. I can make it a over c plus b over c. So I split tan of beta divided by tan of beta there is a minus. And also there is a minus here, cosine of beta times 1 over sine of beta, which is cotan of beta divided by tan of beta. Just be careful there. This is cosine times 1 over sine of beta and V cotan of beta. Now this becomes 1 here, minus 1. And there is cotan of beta divided by tan of beta becomes cotan squared of beta. So minus 1 minus cotan squared of beta. Take a minus common factor. And we know there is a formula for 1 plus cotan squared of beta becomes cosecant squared of beta. And there is a minus in the question, which becomes in the answer also. Now let's verify uh, the trigonometric identity here. Not that easy. 1 plus cosine of x divided by 1 minus cosine of x minus 1 minus cosine of x divided by 1 plus cosine of x is equal to 4 cotan of x times cosecant of x. So for sure here it's easier to start with the left side because there are many things to do in the fractions, combining, LCD, etc. And then we have to reach 4 cotan of x times cosecant of x. So let me start with the left side. Combine the fraction here. See, I put here some formulas from algebra. x over y, so this is x, all of it, over y, minus, all of it is y over x, you see? Then the LCD will be xy, so I multiply up and down in the first fraction by x, and multiply up and down in the second one by y. I will do the same here. See, I have 1 minus cosine of x, so I multiply up and down by 1 plus cosine of x. And I have here 1 plus cosine of x, I multiply up and down by 1 minus cosine of x. Why? Because to have the same denominator here, 1 plus cosine of x times 1 minus cosine of x. Now here in the numerator, I have something squared, 1 plus cosine of x, all squared, minus, see there is a minus here from the question, 1 minus cosine of x, all squared. So the first one, I can use the formula a plus b squared, which is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, and the second one, 1 minus cosine of x, all squared, use the formula a minus b squared, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, then you subtract. So continue the next slide to see the continuation. So this one I can use the formula. I wrote it already here another time. I can use the formula for the second one. There is a minus here. Now when you expand it, you get one minus one, that's zero. You get two cosine of x and there is a minus, minus two cosine of x becomes four cosine of x. Cosine squared of x minus cosine squared of x will be zero. Divided by, you multiply here by using this formula, difference between 
two squares, a plus b, a minus b becomes a squared minus b squared. And we know one minus cosine squared of x will be sine squared of x. Now, this is not the same as the right side. So what do I do? I split it. I leave the four. They have to be smart here. Take cosine of x divided by sine of x times one over sine of x. Why? Because I have to reach this one here. See, the question is verify. I have to reach something. So you have to remember that you have to get the answer for cotan of x times cosecant of x. So it becomes 4 cotan of x times cosecant of x. And then you say done. Done means this is equal to the right hand side. <clears throat> now this one, 1 over tan of t plus tan 90 minus t. Maybe that's a medium question. You can try it if you like, please. And then check the correct answer, A, B, C, D, or E. So first, I take tan 90 minus t. I have to use co-function. Tan 90 minus t becomes cotan of t. So look at the question now. 1 over tan of t plus cotan of t. Tan of t sine t over cosine of t. Cotan of t will be plus here. Cosine of t divided by sine of t. That can, I can add the fractions here, see, with the LCD in the denominator. <coughs> Sorry. So x over y plus y over x becomes x squared plus y squared over xy. And I know this is 1 here, so it becomes 1 over 1 over cosine of t sine of t. So when you multiply 1 over 1 times the reciprocal here, it will be sine of t cosine of t, and the answer is e, I think. The answer is e, yes. Remember, he used this formula. a over b divided by c over d becomes a over b times the reciprocal here, d over c. Now, question number four is a medium question also. x equals 2 sine theta, where theta between minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. Simplify the expression 5x divided by square root of 4 minus x squared. So just replace 2 sine theta in the x here. And then 4 minus, in the x you put 2 sine theta. So this becomes 10 sine theta. This is 4 minus 4 sine squared. Take a 4 common factor. Square root of 4 would be 2. Uh, square root of 1 minus sine squared will be under the square root cosine squared. Square root of cosine squared becomes either plus or minus. But remember the condition we said theta from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, which is either in quadrant 1 or 4. See that one here? So that means the cosine in both quadrants are positive. So that's why we have only cosine here. So divide the 10 over 2, 5 tan of theta is the answer. All right, let's see very important question. Tan 37 degrees is equal to T. Let's find this expression, tan 863 plus tan 307. And I have a multiple choice here, A, B, C, D, and E. So let's start one by one. 863, see this is a big angle, right? 863 is more than 360. So we subtract, we find the coterminal angle first. We subtract multiples of 360. So two times 360, 720. So the angle becomes 143. Now, 143, that's an angle lies in quadrant 2. So let's find the reference. By the formula, we take 180 minus the angle itself becomes 37. So let me explain the first one here. Tan 863 is the same as tan 37, but I have to put a minus. Why? 
because the angle here 143, which is the coterminal, and the angle 863, they both lie in quadrant two. So that's why the tan here is negative. So I put minus tan, the reference, reference 37, which is only T given here. So I put minus T there. Now 307, let's see 307. 307 is less than 360. So there is no need for coterminal. It lies in quadrant four directly. We go to reference. 360 minus 307 becomes 53. So tan 53 here, we don't know, but there is a minus, see? Because 307 in quadrant four, the tan is negative, cotan is negative. So I will have to write minus because of quadrant four, the same function, and then the reference. Tan 53, I don't have in the question. So what can I do? I go to co-function. Tan 53 becomes cotan 90 minus 53, which is cotan 37. And cotan 37, one over tan 37, that's the reciprocal. So the cotan 37 becomes one over T. See, because tan 37 is T, so minus T minus one over T becomes minus T squared minus one over T, and the answer is C, you can check the answer there is C. Now question number six, I said not easy, maybe you will find it easy. Two secant of theta cosecant of theta minus two tan of theta cosecant of theta divided by all this squared plus one equals two, either tan theta cosecant of theta, secant of theta, cotan of theta, sine of theta. So the answer is so easy, one of them Question, maybe you can pause the video, please, if you like, and then try it yourself and check the answer. Let's see. I can see here, let's factor the numerator because I have two in the common factor. I have also cosecant of theta as a common factor. In the denominator, I expand by using the formula here, a minus b squared, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And then I put plus 1 here in the question. It's already there. So let's take here 2 secant of theta. I say secant of theta minus tan of theta. Leave it. Now this one I expanded here. Secant squared of theta minus 2 tan theta secant of theta plus tan squared of theta plus 1. Now one plus tan squared of theta or tan squared of theta plus one. This is secant squared. You know that's in the formula here. Secant squared of theta. And there is another secant squared of theta. So they become here two secant squared of theta minus two tan theta secant theta. Then I take another common factor from the denominator two secant of theta. You see? Now what's left? Secant of theta minus tan of theta which is the same as this bracket in the numerator. So they cancel, oh my goodness here. Also we cancel the two, so cosecant of theta, which is one over sine of theta. And this is uh, secant of theta, one over cosine of theta, multiply one over sine of theta by the reciprocal here. So it becomes cotan of theta and the answer is D. Now question number seven is really a nice question. We have tan squared of theta divided by secant of theta minus one equals a plus b cosine of theta divided by k cosine of theta. So here we have a, b, and k are some constants. So there are numbers here. So we cannot start with the right side. It's easier to start with the left side and make all the changes here until you reach something like that. Then you find A, find B, find K, and then you add them. Let's see. So start with the left-hand side, tan squared. You know the formula for tan squared of theta will be secant squared of theta minus one. And then you factor it, secant of theta minus one by difference between two squares, secant of theta plus one. See now, secant of theta minus one up and down, you can cancel it. So we get what? 
secant of theta plus one. Secant of theta one over cosine of theta, and one I can say cosine of theta divided by cosine of theta to make the same denominator. So it will be one plus cosine of theta divided by cosine of theta. Now compare this to this, you see, compare it. See, we see A here is one. Also B, the coefficient of the cosine is one. Also K is one, the coefficient of the cosine. It happened, one, one, one. When you add A plus B plus K, the answer is three. Now, question number eight, which one of the following statements is not an identity? Which means there are four identities, true equation, and one is not an identity. You have to check one by one. And then let's see the first one. Uh, if you expand here, sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x all squared, it becomes like this, a plus b all squared, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So that will be true. Now, let me, let me explain C, then I'll go. B is not an identity. Let's leave it for a minute. Minus tan of, of x cosine of x. Sine of minus x is minus sine x. That will be true because this is the odd function. Secant squared of x minus 1. This is the tan squared. See, take, it, take one on the other side. Becomes 1 plus tan squared of x equals secant squared. That's true. Also, secant of x1 over cosine of x divided by cosecant 1 over sine. So it will be sine of x over cosine of x will be tan of x. That's true. This is not an identity. Why? Because we know 1 plus tan squared. See here, we formula here. See, B in dd, 1 plus tan squared of x is equal to secant squared. If you find secant of x, it will be plus or minus. So you have to put plus or minus to be true. Only if you take the positive one, it's not always true. So this is not an identity. Now, these are the answers of the eight questions. For other examples, please, if you want to see other examples and the formulas and the rules and everything, you can see the uh, video on pre-calculus course lecture number 20, trigonometric identities. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. I hope I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you very much.